If you're ready to do math today and you have your coffee ready, join me in the simultaneous sip. The question we're working on today is, find the local maximum and minimum values and saddle points of the function f of xy equals 2x to the third plus xy squared plus 5x squared plus y squared. Smash that like button and let's get started. So we want to find the local maximum and minimum values and the saddle points of the function 2x to the third plus xy squared plus 5x squared plus y squared. And the way we're going to do that is with the second derivative test. So we have to first find the partial with respect to x of the function, and we're going to set it equal to 0. So to find that, we just treat y as a constant. So it works out to be 6x squared plus y squared plus 10x. Then we'll find the partial with respect to y. And again, we're going to eventually set it equal to 0. Here we get 2xy plus 2y. And it seems like setting the partial with respect to y equal to 0 is easier. So we'll start with that. But we have to do both eventually. So we have 2xy plus 2y equals 0. Let's factor out the y. And so we have y times 2x plus 2 equals 0. So this gives us the case that either y equals 0 or x equals negative 1. So we're going to consider both of those cases when we set the partial with respect to x equal to 0. When we do that, we have 6x squared plus y squared plus 10x equals 0. So let's first do the case when y equals 0. Well, that means that 6x squared plus 10x is equal to 0. And we could solve this. Factoring is probably our best approach. Factor out the x. And we get x times 6x plus 10 equals 0, which gives us x equals 0, or x equals negative 5 thirds. So this gives us the points 0, 0 and negative 5 thirds, 0. So these are candidates for local max, local min, or saddle points, these points that we're finding. It's just like what we did in Calc 1. All right, and the next case was when x equals negative 1. Our equation becomes 6 plus y squared minus 10 equals 0, which is the same thing as y squared minus 4 equals 0. And we could solve this a number of ways. It works out to be y equals 2 or y equals negative 2. So this gives us two more points, negative 1, 2, and negative 1, negative 2. Now we want to do the second derivative test, so we're going to need each of the second derivatives. Here's fxx, fxy is 2y, and fyy works out to be 2x plus 2. And the last thing we need is the function d, which we call d of xy, which is just fxx times fyy minus fxy squared. So 12x plus 10 times 2x plus 2 minus 2y squared. And this will tell us if we have a max, min, or saddle point. So we want to evaluate each of our points at the partial derivative with respect to x twice and check if it's positive or negative. So fxx of 0, 0 is positive, And d of 0, 0, when we plug it in, it's also positive. So if you have positive and then positive, we have a min. Now we'll just check all of our points. fxx of minus 5 thirds, 0, is negative. And d at that point is positive, so we have a max. And here I'm skipping fxx because I did this question before. If we just evaluate d of negative 1, 2, we get less than 0, so it's automatically a saddle point. And same with d of negative 1, negative 2. It's negative, so we have a saddle. And that's it. Make sure to subscribe for more Coffee and Math with Dr. Wesselcouch. Don't text and drive. Bye-bye.